Hello, this is NY Hunter, and uh, coming to you today with no box or anything because I actually, uh, if you saw my short, I actually got a hundred dollar box of stuff that turned out to be a lot more than a hundred dollars. Let me show you. Scoot this over here, and let me put this over here, and uh, yeah. This is a hundred dollar box, and yeah, no, no doubt you do see an Optimus Primal here. You do, you see a Thundertron here, and another Cosmos here also. So it's definitely an awesome set. And there's a Grimlock in here too, and um, um. Evac, and not only that, but the next review I do is um, going to be this fancy trans metal guy that I've fallen in love with. This guy, uh, Romulus, I think. I didn't, I didn't even know who he was, but um, throughout looking at all these things that I received in this box, um, this has got to be the coolest bot in a while that I've seen, and uh, he's going to be the next review. But for today uh, and this review. We're going to talk about Optimus Prime, and that's right, you can never have too many Optimus Primes, isn't that correct? Um, let me see here, just checking the, uh, the picture here. Uh, yeah, but you can never have too many Optimus Primes, and this is another um, time I can say that confidently that that's true. Um, I didn't have the box, so I looked this guy up, and he is Rise of the Beast Voyager Optimus Prime. Not a leader class, not a class with a trailer, not a figure with a trailer, just a cab, and just like this. A couple things I don't like, I'll just start with that, is um, his gun is a little bit small, but he's a bit small, and his side panels here, they have these like knife looking things that are part of the truck and not really part of the bot but um <laughs> but you know they look weird and i don't know if i like them i wish they wrapped around a bit more um over here we've got these panels here that look like he could fly <laughs> maybe potentially but they're uh, they look more bot than truck or maybe jet than truck and i don't know what to do with them but they're part of the bot um and um all in all, you can see the wheels are on the back, and it makes them look really, uh, uh, really um, Earthrise class, kind of, and um, just really cool. Um, but in any case, he's a Voyager class. He's a smaller class. Um, come to think of it, the other Optimus Primes, one or two of them were Voyager classes as well, right? So it's okay. And uh, he turned out to be really cool, actually. Um, so that's all I'm going to say about him. Let's start transforming him. All right, so like I said, um, he, here is Voyager class Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime, and just pretty nice looking, I gotta say. Um, like I said, the stacks are here, the wings, I don't know what they're there for, but um, whatever. I guess he, when he's a truck, they're for aerodynamics, let's say. And then the back, of course, you saw in the turntable, the wheels make it look very Earthrise. Um, and um, yep, same type of panel in the back. Um, no... Not too much waffling or holes here, which is really nice. But um, yeah, let's get him transformed. He has a really fun transformation. So let's do that now. We'll take this gun out, put it over here, and uh, we'll get going. All right, so let's take his um, head. Let's take his head. Um, we will fold this up like so. And then that will allow us to pivot his head in like so okay and when that's in we can cap it with this and this panel will just stay like this and when we do have him like this we can close up his windshield so he's turning more square now okay um let's take this there's a nice um nice little cutout here that they have so he can move his shoulders like this but he can also lift his arm like this so that's pretty good and um yep so why do we need to lift his arm like that because uh he's actually got to flip his body around like so and now the back is the front and the front is the back and uh, we have this like so and then we're going to transform the wheels now flip this down flip this uh, not all the way out like Earthrise, but in a U shape, and then it's a double joint. So we got to 
um, well, in a little while, we've got to fold this part down and in. All right, so let's go with the arms now. Well, the arms is, this part is typical Optimus Prime. So put his arms down like this, put his arms down like this, and then start transforming this part like so. Oh wait, but before you do, move this shoulder panel with the wing out so it covers this area here. So we're gonna do this, see? And then cover. There is a little hole here and that will go into this um, tab here. And so just push that in. Okay, same on the other side. So he was like this and we're gonna swing this out and around and like so. And now we have the clearance to move his arms back like typical Optimus Prime. Okay, and like I said, the wings stay out here. So I guess you could say that it is um, very, it could be for aerodynamics. And then from here, we're going to flip this arm panel out like so. And we're going to leave this hand, actually, nope, we're gonna fold this in like so. Okay, and then we're going to fold this in like so, and fold this panel out like so. All right, and now that we have this, uh, now we're going to uh, move the hand in such a way, v typical Optimus Prime, but a little bit different because we're going to um, put this forearm like this. Uh, but it's a little bit further back, you see, than typical Optimus. And then this panel will go over here in front. Uh, I'm not going to close it yet because I can't remember if the wheel should go first. So let's leave this open. But then back here, same thing. You've got this that will become the side. So push this back a little bit, tilt this, and then put this little tab up like so. Oops, and the arms do like to come out a little bit, but as long as you have the fists in the middle um, and everything squared up, we should be good. All right, so now we have these tabs here. Uh, you probably know what's going to happen. The um, legs will come up there. So let's do it. From here, kind of fun. Um, and we get to flip this whole inside panel and the foot like so and then deposit the foot right on top like that you think that you're done here but that's not true there's a little bit more that gets turned like that and then the the back will have these faux lights there so once again on this side we're going to flip this panel in and then we're going to keep pushing from the ankle until you can see like there's a big hole there now, but just keep going and then bring the true back out like so. And then that will look like this a little better. A little splash of color would have helped even more, but we don't have that. Um, put the legs together and then put the trailer holder connector right there. And then you saw these tabs here, and like I said, keep everything as square as possible. When you fold this up, you can punch these two tabs into these holes, like so. Okay, and now we'll go to this side and just push that in and push this in. It may feel like the first time I transformed him, it felt like there wasn't enough room for the hands, but there are. Uh, and then just keep all the pieces together while you're doing this. And then, like I said, the wheels, we had a U-shape here, remember? Um, and then there's a double joint where it's already folded down. We've got to fold it down more, like so. And then see these two tabs here? Um, they'll go into a hole here, and same on the other side. So let's push that in. And we're almost done, it's really easy. And then these panel, this panel and this panel will just attach to this tab and this tab. And then we'll just push that in, push that in. 
and it's really solid actually surprisingly um yeah this part's not as solid uh just move that into position a little more you can see that tab fell off of the leg so get that where it needs to be solidify everything and boom that's it Woohoo! Vroom, vroom, vroom. it rolls really nicely let's not uh run over your comrades or enemies um but yeah the front end is um i don't know it's a little bit different and a little bit bare let's put him on the turntable and talk about him uh, but before we do let's put his gun here um it can fit like this if you don't want him to be look so battle ready and it can fit like this like earthrise and siege or one of the other figures where they had a gun or an axe on the back so two things you can do there um but yeah let's go and see him on the turntable all right we've got prime back here he's on the turntable uh pretty nice detail if you take a look from the sides um over here too like the wing aerodynamics <laughs> you tell me um when you close up the windshield and fold these parts down um it does look a little bit bare um like the the headlights they're the, the same color as his body almost this red color you'd think that it should look a little more headlighty but it doesn't um and then over here the wheels are very black with just a little pin in the middle um i don't know how i feel about that i guess simplicity is good sometimes so uh, it doesn't look bad to me uh, it doesn't look great either um let's see and then over here when we take the gun out um other people have trailers i don't have a trailer on me right now but um they say that when you put a trailer on it lifts the trailer too high so it's not quite made for that um but it still looks pretty cool and like i said this part of the transformation is new for optimus prime um and uh as far as i know and it's pretty fun um other than that everything closes up really well and uh yeah let's just uh take a last moment here come over here all right so this is our time together now <laughs> uh, one thing i can tell you is here there's a hole uh and then you can see his fists in there and it looks quite tight but it's not that tight um there's room in there and then um this vehicle mode as well like i said from the side looks great um take away the gun looks better and then you can see in the back um some areas it could use some paint uh, or some stickers but it doesn't look bad either and then from the front it looks kind of basic um but but yeah not too bad either <laughs> i guess um he's a he's a not too bad transformer <laughs> what do you guys think have you purchased this one are you going to purchase this one it's kind of been out for a while now um but uh that's about it um not too much to say about this guy um if you liked please uh, give me a thumbs up please subscribe um i do have a patreon uh if you'd like to support please do uh no obligation and leave me a comment uh it's great to talk to you guys and uh see what you think about these characters um all right that's it for now um have a great evening and uh just uh, be well bye bye now